This is Digital Bike Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to replace a drive in a faulty server. So if you have a server that has perhaps had a drive fail, we're gonna look at how to remove the drive, how to add a new one. This is from a Dell server. Steps are very, very easy. We're also gonna cover how to add perhaps some new disk drives into a server. So to replace a disk, obviously make sure you have the server turned off if it's a disk that is in use, or if it's a disk that is a hot spare or in a particular RAID and you think it's safe to replace, you can do that. So this is a Dell server, and all we've got to do is just literally push on this button, the Dell R720, and then slide the disk out. The disk will come out, all right, nice and easy. You then get your replacement disk, and you just slide it back in. Push it in and then clip it shut like so. You see there are other slots here available, which are empty, so I can literally just pull this out. It's just a plain plastic tray, nothing special about it, but then I'd get a disc similar to this, shipped from Dell, if that is the brand that you're going for, and you just slide it in. You then log into the actual Dell portal. Uh, you can do this either from Windows or you can do it from the, uh, from the BIOS area when you're logging into your, uh, into your server and you can actually add a particular disk to a RAID or create a new RAID pool if you happen to have you know, a, a number of disks that are added into a server. All right, so that is the nice and easy steps on how to replace and how to add a new disk into a server. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, just on the button there for more videos.